We're diving into this video head first, which is coincidentally what today's video is about. In this video, we're going to take a look at the progressive ways to dive into the water. These, however, will only be basic dives and not competitive dives. The objective of a dive is to enter the water as quickly and efficiently as possible whilst maintaining a streamlined position. From there, you can transition into your chosen stroke. Today, we are going to take a look at three basic dives that you can perform when you are a beginner swimmer. These dives will help introduce you to the motions that you need to perform when diving. Sit-in dive. This is the most basic of dives and would be used for very young beginner swimmers. To perform this, sit on the edge of the pool with your feet against the wall. Flat if you have the flexibility. Then put your arms in a streamlined position. From here, bend your body forward so that your fingertips are facing the water. All you need to do from here is to lift your bum up and fall forwards into the water. Don't expect to have a clean entry though, as half of your body is already in the water. You can add a push in when you are capable of falling into the water head first. Again though, the push won't lead to much extra distance. Kneel and dive. Here is when you can start to get some distance to your dive and enter the water nicely. Start with one foot forwards, preferably your strongest, and the other foot back with its knee on the floor next to your front foot. You should be on your back toes so that you can grip the floor. Again, the arms will be in a streamlined position and your head will be tucked in. Here you are going to point dead ahead. This is because the way you want to travel is forwards, so you need to point that way. A worry here is belly flopping. However, as long as your head stays tucked in, you won't belly flop as gravity will bring you down correctly. Start with a roll in by lifting your hips and back foot off the floor. The arms will then point into the water and you will fall forwards. Then you can move on to a push. This is when you need to point your fingers ahead. As you push, you also need to squeeze your hips and core so that your body stays long and your legs are straight, rather than trying to curve into the water as this will lead to a deeper dive. If your knee is hurting during this dive, then put a float under it for comfort. Standing dive. This is the most powerful of the three basic dives due to the involvement of both feet. Have both feet facing forwards with toes curled over the edge. Arms again go into streamline. Then bend your knees so that your thighs are nearly parallel to the floor. Your body then needs to bend forwards whilst keeping your back as flat as possible. As with a kneeling dive, you will need to point your hands dead ahead of you. It is, however, hard to perform a roll into the water with this dive, so you will need to push out with your legs hard. Gravity again will help bring you into the water correctly as long as you keep your head down. Keep your core and your legs tight so that your body is long as it enters the water. Make sure that you spring from your toes so that they point as you enter and then maintain that streamlined position through the water. Let's hope you don't have a headache from all of those dives. We will cover the competitive dives in another video, but for the meantime, those were all basic dives and how to perform them. I hope you enjoyed this video and it has helped you improve your dives. Remember, if you want to keep up to date with the latest videos, then click the subscribe button here. If you feel like diving straight into another video, then the latest one is here. As always, have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.